With the release of RimWorld Biotech came vampires. Vampires are incredibly strong forms and require a constant supply of blood and comas to keep them tip top. They also have some other issues like being afraid of fire. No! Don't flee from fire! What are you doing? So I thought for a fun challenge, I'll create a cult of blood-sucking vampires called Dave. The premise is simple, right? Use one vampire to grow as many other vampires as possible, no matter the means of production. <laughs> All right, well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to some RimWorld where we have uh, Wendy and Dave here trapped on this uh, remote island in the middle of nowhere. So Dave is a vampire, right? He's pretty good. Look look at all these great Xenogenes he has. Uh, the first one that's going to come into play here is that he's attractive because that means he could head straight over to Wendy and romance her with a 99% chance. <laughs> And straight away, Dave's pool game is unbelievable. All right, and with all the basics down now, I think it's time for Dave to uh, implant his genes into Wendy. So come here, Wendy. You need to get munched on. Fantastic. Now, that's going to put her in a coma for a couple of days. But that does mean Wendy is now a vampire as well. Uh, so a poor traveler named Jock is approaching and is looking for help. He's begging for 30 silver so he can pay off some debt to some gangs that are hunting him. I don't want to be that guy, buddy, but you've kind of rocked up to the wrong colony because uh, my vampires need um, a blood donor, shall we say. All right, Jock. Well, I've got a little bit of bad news for you. Now, normally what I would do here is go down the route of um, installing a peg leg and then removing the peg leg. But unfortunately for you, I have uh, War Crimes Expanded downloaded. So I'm just going to hack off your legs. <laughs> No! The damn spirit manglers are raiding me now. I'm trying to cut off a man's legs. Ah! All right, now that he's lost both his legs, that basically means now he's completely bedridden, right? We all know that. Uh, what that means for him now is he's now just going to become a blood feed, which basically means our vampires will come up and feed on him when they need blood. So we, we'll do it now as an example. Dave could come up, have a little suck on him, a little munch. So at this point, I might have gotten a little carried away with torturing Jock. Turns out with War Crimes Expanded, you can carve someone up like a Christmas turkey and turn them into a literal blood nugget. Where their last days of their meaningless lives will be to keep me topped up on blood. I love how we haven't even cleaned up Jock's room yet. We've just left all of his discarded body parts all over the uh, all over his bedroom. You know, not that he can... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not that he can see him, but I'm sure he can smell them by now. That means we should probably, like, remove his nose. <laughs> oh, how very interesting. A slaver has rocked up. Oh, damn it. Davis has gone into labor. Not now, Davis. I need to do some slave trading. Okay, we won't be buying any slaves because they all suck. Come on, Davis. You can do it. Have a quick and clean childbirth, please. Let's hope this goes nice and easy. Oh, you son of a bitch. Push. We're going to get raided in a minute. Push the child out. Childbirth has been cancelled? I don't think that's how it works, Chief. Uh, <laughs> why I, I feel like the whole childbirth was cancelled, but I guess it was just the ceremony. Uh, we have a healthy childbirth, which is fantastic, and we can name the baby Dave, and his nickname will be Little Dave. There we go. For those wondering, I have three main ways I plan on growing new Daves. The first method is having Dave impregnate his dear wife Davis and having them have little vampire babies. Uh, method number two is a little more fucked up. We extract the ovum from female prisoners and have Dave fertilize it and then put back into the prisoners or straight into growth vats, which is a little more humane. And I went mostly with the second option there. Uh, method number three is using a clone vat, which is an idea I stole from this video, which you should definitely watch after this video. I'll, I'll leave a I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the description. All right, so we've got the deserter quest that's just rocked up. Now, it's only one trooper chasing Garrison here, so I think I'm probably just going to accept it because we should be able to handle one trooper. Oh, no! Slightly the slight problem, I think, with vampires is we seem to be killing everybody like too quickly poor old jock over here i think is getting a little bit lonely i mean but at least he's not as sad as he was he's just he's got a nowadays he's sort of sitting on 22 percent mood which i suppose isn't too bad you know, he's gotten over the fact that we basically turned him into a nugget hey look at this good news everybody little dave is now a child uh which basically means they can do like a whole host of like basic tasks but i'm not really interested in that here we go refugee seeks a home zippy wants to join but what i'm more interested in is we're actually gonna get raided by a few people so let's accept that right here we go here comes one of them just uh beat him down with the clubs 
Oh my god, you destroyed his head. I gave you clubs so you didn't specifically do this. I did end up buying one slave from that slave trader that rocked up. It does mean poor old Jock here now does have a friend. Not that he can see, smell, hear. I, he probably doesn't even know she's there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, I have expanded the Dave breeding program with Chang here. I, I I did a little surgery, got Dave to fertilize it and put it back inside her. So now we are growing two little Daves now. Okay, so we have these uh we have these refugees here for 18 days, but I think once they try to leave, I think that I'll, I'll uh, imprison them and then they become permanent settlers of this colony. I think. Even better news, we have finally researched cloning, which is fantastic. That means we can now go over here and build a clone extra- Ah. I need four advanced components. Okay, we won't be building a uh, clone extractor anytime soon. I think it's time we move away from this little prison that I've built here and actually create like a proper prison block. So with the help of the refugees, I'm hoping to create a little little prison area behind, just inside the mountain, tucked away so no one can see it. In better news though, we have just had a growth moment for little Dave. Little Dave will now be able to do all of these tasks. And for someone that's vat grown, that's pretty good to actually get fast learner. Does that mean means all the skills that she hasn't learned she can now learn pretty quickly yeah as you can uh, as you can see here vat grown children are um special shall we say <laughs> oh god another raid from some slavers just do the usual uh yeah we'll just do the usual just stab them as they walk through the door they don't really stand much of a chance do they oh now we gotta stab some dogs i'm sorry I'm sorry, doggos. You came to the wrong colony. All right. Well, good thing about vampires is they can uh, heal up someone's wounds instantly, which is fantastic. Because that means now we can rescue her and uh, she can be the first person to go to my new prison that I've built or a uh, blood donation clinic. I do have to ask the question, uh, at which point am I considered a bad person? <laughs> Cassandra Classic with the drop pods of a RPG-7. Hey, good news, everybody. I'd like to introduce you all to the next Dave. We'll call this one Tiny Dave. And we'll just uh, throw Tiny Dave straight into the growth vat, please. And now we have two Daves growing right now, which is marvelous. Although one of them is starving currently. Oh, okay. Turns out we don't actually have any food, so we're probably all starving. On a slightly better note, I managed to acquire some advanced components from an exotics good trader and build my cloning facility. However, it turns out trying to clone someone whose genes are regrowing kills them. Well, that didn't go to plan. <laughs> Uh, so after a quick little reload, <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit it, I ended up throwing little Dave in to grow more Daves instead. Oh, look, a child. Adopt the child. It's, it's Chang's child. Aha, fantastic. I named this child Dav because it's technically kind of not a real Dave since it's a prisoner Dave. I don't know. Uh, oh, no. Okay, Dav is dead. Okay, we might have, we might have starved the child. How, how has this happened? Just hide the evidence in the swamp. There we go. Ooh, a raid. I haven't seen one of them in a while. Uh, nine people are raiding me. Oh, God, I love combat extended. <laughs> it's just a massacre. There's nothing they can do about it. Oh, no. Jock has died. No. We lost Jock. Our first prisoner has died. Poor old Jock, man. He did not have a good existence. All right, it seems to have all kind of gone horribly wrong all of a sudden. The bloody eclipse happened. An acidic smog has happened. We're out of power. We've run out of food. It's all sort of just gone to shit in about 30 seconds. Bloody growth ads, man. They require so much food. I love how this playthrough started off with me trying to grow like an army of vampires. And all it's ended up with me is just growing an army of daves, which unfortunately are not vampires but it is okay it's okay because in 33 days dave here is going to be able to implant genes into someone who will probably do like garrison or something and he will become a dave i figured out a slight problem that i'm having here dave's getting a little bit upset because all of his children are being grown via vats oh and also remember dav died but yeah he's getting a minus 12 debuff from that all right so we just had this uh defoiler ship part just land on us uh i think it's time that we bust busted out an old toy that I had. Gonna bust out this RPG that Randy gave us earlier. As you can see, uh, David Davis as well have got some pretty uh, thick armor. So hopefully we should be able to smash them to pieces after we hit them with an RPG. All right, Garrison, uh, hit the Scorcher, why not? We'll, we'll shoot the Scorcher. I feel like that's the one that's gonna cause us the most problems. Uh, you did not hit the Scorcher. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. What are you doing? Get out of there, you fool. Stop running around in the swamp. Okay, Garrison might be dead. <laughs> oh. All right, Dave, do you want to just go over there and see if you can maybe, like, give him a hand? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Those beams. Okay, Garrison is dead. Garrison Garrison died a horrific death. Hey, Tiny Dave has become an adult. That's our first adult, that one. Welcome, Tiny Dave. Welcome to adulthood. We've also apparently lost some more prisoners. We, uh, the minus 15 from having five prisoners die is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty ruthless. Plus, we got a minus 10 from Garrison not being buried, but hopefully he should rot because, you know, he's he's rotting away in the, in the swamp. So hopefully he should degrade quite quickly. And then everyone should be back to being happy again. Oh, God, Davis has just gone on a murderous rage. He's going to go kill Sam. But that's okay, because Sam is only a prisoner, so I don't really care. <laughs> Davis just walked into her room and just smashed her skull in with a mace. That is absolute brutality. So you're probably thinking that the tale of Dave and his growing facility has a happy ending. Well, it doesn't. So let's see if I can bait some of these mechs in. I've built this big old tunnel here. And I wonder if I can bait them into... Oh, little Dave's just had a catatonic. But let's see if I can bait them round to try and fight me in the tunnel here. Just keep ducking in and out of cover. No! Don't flee from fire! What are you doing? Why are you running out? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, fuck it. We're going hot. We're going hot. Get in there, Dave. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So Davis is just currently burning and there's nothing stopping her from burning. Davis died. Davis is dead. Oh, really? Come on, a siege? Oh, my God. Yep, I'm being absolutely fucking hammered. No! Tiny Dave is dead. Oh, no, they just bombed the Dave cloning facility. Okay, get get the Daves out of there. Uh, they all just ran into the kitchen and got uh, extreme smoke inhalation. You know what was the hardest part of that siege? Watching my boy Dave burn to death. No! <laughs> my boy Dave is burning and there's nothing I can do about it. Dave! No! He's dead! My boy! Look how they massacred my boy! Oh yeah, then all the little Daves just died by running into the kitchen and dying because of breathing in too much spicy smoke.